It's been one of ABB's most successful and innovative products ever since it was launched in 1987. Now the Azipod line of marine propulsion systems is to get its newest family member. Engineers say the Azipod D makes gearless electric propulsion even more efficient and versatile than ever before. With its benefits of reliability, economical efficiency and low maintenance requirements, we expect this new product to become preferred choice of owners and operators. And that versatility is essential in today's maritime market, which is characterised by volatile fuel prices and a huge range of different demands on vessels. That was a completely different uh, demand or uh, focus for the designer, how to optimise a vessel. So now the focus is not on one speed and one draft, but on the speed range and on the draft range. So the ships today get more, much more flexible than they have been five, ten years ago. Flexibility comes from the electric propulsion system behind the Azipod D, making it especially efficient for ships tackling multiple missions in a fluctuating market. Technology like this is the result of years of rigorous development and testing, including model testing in this specially built facility. Here, engineers and ship designers can find out exactly how to hone the Azipod's performance, marrying it with the ideal hull design. The model test uh, resistance propulsion is an integral part of the design process because without the propulsion factors we can't actually uh, accurately predict what the power is going to be on the vessel. We don't design propulsors ourselves um, so without the close cooperation with our suppliers we, we can't uh, have the data in order to be able to progress the design. So it's essential for us that we have really good cooperation with ABB and on this project has been fantastic. The Azipod D will complement ABB's existing Azipod C unit, which was introduced more than a decade ago. It's been installed on numerous ships from ferries and yachts to offshore support vessels like this one, now coming in to dry dock. The vessel is now uh, was built in 2004 and um, we have had very good experience, operational experience with uh, this uh, Azipods and also on uh, both on operation and also on maintenance cost. So we have had them for, in service for uh, 12 years without any major overhaul and that I think that is also unique uh, when we see these type of propulsion units. The Azipod D has even fewer parts to change and requires up to 25% less power installed thanks in part to its new hybrid cooling system. With its increased reliability, environmental benefits and design flexibility, the Azipod D is a worthy addition to ABB's flagship propulsion system, which has logged a total of more than 11 million operating hours.